With an online library, the answer is yes. I don't have to physically be in my office. I can be mobile. But I wasn't always mobile <laughs> because sometimes, back to those stakeholders, some people like to see you to make sure that you know things are happening. But what that comes down to is I created a way for my job to be mobile. And the way that I've done that is finding solutions to um, keeping statistics that students can contact me. And then when I got to hire part-time librarians, how to organize our work virtually. So the first thing that we that I did is I started using Google a lot. And I have created a Google form and I use the Google form to keep track of our statistics. And in that Google form, we use a new one every semester. And the cool thing about that is that that link can be a bookmark on anyone's computer. I have it bookmarked on my phone. So whenever I have any kind of reference transaction, I'm able to record that. And the reason that's important is because statistics show that your library is being utilized. And when that happens, you're able to hire librarians to help you. So one of the things I also did early on was I created a Google voice number for the library for Coastline. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to be able to help students wherever I was. And I understand that that is not something that everyone will like to do. Um, I understand that some of you have been confined to certain hours that you work in the library. My administration was very flexible with how I was able to use my hours and I was able to count hours when students contacted me, quote unquote, after hours by the Google Voice. So I've been very lucky to have that. I did it because I wanted students to be able to call or text. And what happened initially is that it would ring the library office and it would also ring the Google Voice number. So I was, like I said, able to answer questions from a lot of people around the world at different times of the day. I do have Do Not Disturb on there, so I tell students, call me, text me anytime you want, because it's on Do Not Disturb if I'm sleeping. And if you don't care if I get back to you at 5 a.m., then tell me that. So that has been a great way for me to be able to be mobile and to work with students. And so through the statistics that we kept, that I kept on that Google form, I was able to show growth of how students were contacting the library and that we had a lot of people. And through that, I was able to hire part-time librarians. And so for a library that for 18 years had one solo librarian who occasionally would hire a part-time librarian, to myself now being the, only, the solo full-time librarian, but having four part-time librarians I get to work with, it's been amazing because they're really helping support the R library growth, but it's also been a little bit of a challenge for me because how do I organize work virtually? So initially what I was doing was using Google Docs. We were kind of organizing it that way. But then my dean, I am under the Division of Innovative Learning, and I have a pretty supportive dean, actually, so I'm very, very lucky. Um, she, for her division, got something called Monday.com. And so Monday.com is like a project management software, and that is what we have ended up using in the library. So I started piloting it last summer, and it's been really, really successful. Um, I'm able to manage a lot of our projects through that software, and also we use it to communicate. Um, we kind of use it as a text messaging, messaging system if we need to. In the library, uh, initially we were calling, texting the library number, doing lots of different things. And I said, hey, let's just find one place. Let's talk about how we do it. If they would like, the librarians are able to download it to their phone, but I have very much encouraged them, hey, when you're not working, please don't worry about checking this. Please don't worry, don't feel any kind of responsibility. I'm so grateful that they're working for, um, for Coastline and I don't want to in any way, I don't know, take advantage of that. So I'm very, very cautious about that and just tell them, just check it when you're working. Other than that, don't worry. If I have an emergency, I have your number and I'll call you. And the same thing, if you have an emergency, you have my number, feel free to call me. So working with the statistics using that Google form, so we're able to check our stats anywhere we are, having the Google voice number, and then working virtually using the project management software that we've been using called monday.com has really, really allowed the library to actually now go completely online. Before I would be in my office, we'd all kind of sometimes see each other, but now that we're 100% virtual, no problem. There was no hiccup when some things were changing 
Um, my dean contacted me and just said, hey, I just want to make sure that the librarians have everything that they need. And we had everything. We were totally set. We are using Zoom a little bit more, but other than that, we've been pretty good. So the whole thing about having an online library for me was being able to take that library wherever I went so I could help students and get back to them. And I definitely have created something that I'm able to do that way.